Welcome to IFC SG for Revit. IFC stands for Industry Foundation Classes. It is a standardized digital description of the built asset industry. It is an open international standard conforming to ISO 16739. IFC SG is an extension of IFC for Singapore's Cornet X submission. It is based on 3000 rule sets from different authorities for e submission. Each rule set requires multiple IFC parameters specific to related objects. You can use native Revit commands to handle IFC SG. However, our automated solution is way more accurate, faster and easier to use. Let's start by scanning a project and populating with IFC SG parameters. Open any Revit project. First, click on some entities like a wall. You will notice that the properties panel doesn't include any IFC parameters. Do the same for floor. Roof. Railing. All of them do not have any IFC parameters. Click on the IFC SG tab. Followed by scan parameters. Then populate default IFC SG parameters. This scans through your entire project and matches any object with the rule sets defined for IFC SG. It then adds these IFC SG parameters to the object. Upon completion, click on ignore and continue. Now, check any wall in your project. You will notice lots of IFC SG parameters included in that object. Roof. Railing. And slab. Notice how easy and fast it was. It's also very accurate as it matches the IFC SG parameter exactly with the related object. Now that we have the required parameters, let's set up some default values for them. Click on the check values icon. Followed by populate IFC SG default parameters value. Let's check the floor. You will see default values have been applied. Roof. Railing. And wall. Currently, we are using default and blank values. Future upgrades will have standard values either based on the industry standards or your firm's standards. You may now key in your own preferred values in this default properties panel. However, this is slow and can handle only one object at a time. Let's use a faster and more accurate method. Click on the check values icon. Followed by open element list panel. Click on the parapet wall along the driveway. To select all walls of the same type, click on the by type checkbox. All 10 walls of the same type will be selected. We can now change any values for any of the parameters for this wall type. Let's change the IFC exporter's value. The default is IFC wall. Just enter wall for the value. This looks up the building smart database and lists you all the approved names for walls. Select IFC wall type parapet. Do the same for railings. There are four of the same type. Set the IFC exporter's value to IFC railing type handrail. Do the same for walls 202 mm. Set the IFC exporter's value to IFC wall type solid wall. And roofs. Set the IFC exporter's value to IFC roof type gable roof. Let's export out the IFC SG. Click on the export IFC SG icon, then select the proceed to export out IFC for reference view. Click on the export user defined property sets. We want to export every IFC SG parameter which has values defined. Select the consolidated P set. Check the Enable IFC Post Processing. Export. If you have installed Beam Vision, click on Open IFC File. 
Beam Vision will open the IFC file and your model will be displayed. Let's check the parapet wall. The predefined type is parapet. Scroll down to see the other IFC SG parameters. These are listed as SGP set. Do the same for the handrails. Walls. And slabs. There you are, IFC SG in a nutshell. There is more to this but this short demo will get you started.